Good morning, folks. We're coming to you a bit early today. There isn't much to look at in terms of eruptions. I'm reminded of John Casey's earthquake and volcano warnings that come with a grand solar minimum and wonder if the earth-facing solar quiet is more than just the descent into the 11-year sunspot minimum. Despite some sunspots on the disk, we still aren't seeing much in the way of solar flares. The sunspot group near center disk on the south actually got its act together yesterday with some growth, but is still magnetically separated. The incoming grouping appears to be complex, but we need another day of analysis. Two gamma ray bursts swept through since we last spoke, from Ursa Minor and Cetus. In yellow, we see that the solar wind speed dipped this morning, but in orange you can see that it was a denser stream. That stream set a bit more instability into Earth's already recovering magnetic field. Despite the Earth-facing coronal hole, Every other earthquake factor is low at the moment, kind of puts us middle of the road. This coronal hole is also not representing a change in IMF, it's another positive portion from the northern opening. No significant quakes to report either. Fascinating new study takes our top spot today. Apparently the EM shock wave of supernovas can help induce spin to solar systems. That's electricity dictating spin. Since I see nothing but record heat stories being reported, I'll point out that Denver is merely one location taking record low temperatures as this system moves across the country, pulling chilly air down from the north and meeting the convergence line. Heat on the east side, storms in the middle at the convergence, and record lows to the west side. Eyes open tonight in the middle. Featured today among the observers. I've had a few emails about this photo. That's me on the right. Adrian from Suspect Sky Channel on the left. You guys saw it on his Facebook page. We both live in Pittsburgh. We've been friends for about 18 years and we were discussing the upcoming conference. Many of you keen folks noted the conference logo on the mugs. I am sorry guys, but those are only going to be available at the conference along with the t-shirts and other stuff, but can't even begin to explain how great of an event we have lined up for you here. Really should come out and see us. Website members, today's featured page is the Electric Earth and Sun section. It is a great introduction or refresher for any observer. We're still watching the twin typhoons in the West Pacific, hoping alerts are heated there. It looks like the Atlantic finally heard his alarm going off, got a hurricane cooking in the waters there. We've got lows and convergence areas in our other top viewer locations, followed by current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.